Presents. I, Prasant Tripathi, welcome you to the book summary of How to Talk to Anyone by Lee Londis. This is a book to help you make your conversation better, enriching and talk to anyone with great confidence. So, I hope that after listening this summary, video summary, you will be able to talk to anyone with great um, first impression and you will lead a last impression on everyone. So, the first is uh, here, Miss Lee Londis tells us that you only have 10 seconds to show you are a somebody. Okay. So the first uh, technique he gives us that is flooding a smile. Means dawn, uh, now there are various type of uh, smile like we usually flash our smiles immediately whenever we summon. But here uh, Lee Londis causes us and he tells us that don't flash an immediate smile when you greet someone as though anyone who walked into your line of sight would be the beneficiary. Instead look at the other person's face for a second, pause, shock in their persona, then let a big warm responsive smile flood over your face and overflow into your eyes. It will engulf the recipient like a warm wave. The split second delay convinces people your flooding smile is genuine and only for them. So why the author tells about the flooding smile concept means whenever you see someone smiling like whenever the child is smiling they feels more attractive. So when you give your smile to someone you will feel attractive but don't give it immediately. Make them feel that your smile is genuinely reserved for them. Now. Coming to the second concept, the second concept is of sticky eyes. What is means? Means you pretend your eyes are glued to your conversation partners with sticky warm coffee, like uh, you are stick, your eyes are stick with the, your partner. Don't break eye contact even after he or she has finished speaking. When you must look away, do it ever so slowly, reluctantly stretching the go going toffee until the three string finally bits. So when you stick your eyes to someone, it makes them feel special and they think that you are very much interested in them so your conversation can lead a new height can lead to a new height and surely will lead to a new height as all the data here in this book is very authentic and i have so coming to the hello old friend technique so what does this mean this means that whenever you meet someone behave with them like they are your old friend like whenever we meet new person we feel we feel that we are um, uh, we feel some worry, worried about how they will behave to us. So now, so there is a trick. Think that they are your full friend and when meeting someone, imagine he or she is an old friend uh, of yours. How should... Uh, but holy miracle, now the, the party um, has reunited you, means you are reunited with them, uh, with your long... The joyful experience starts a remarkable chain reaction in your body from the subconscious softening of your eyebrows to the positioning of your toes and everything between. So means whenever you are meeting someone, think that you are their old friend or they are your old friend and meet with that expectancy, that warmth. Here I caution you that you don't become too much friendly. This is just to help you out with the initial talking. Okay. Now, oh sorry, I am sorry for this mistake. Here the spelling of scene is wrong. Here must be she. So you are, so what does the, what's the scene before you make scene means? You know, whenever it is pretending to imagination, I have also discussed this concept in the attitude is everything means. Here this is about visualization, like if you are going to talk to someone, what's that scene in your mind, like how you are talking, how well you are behaving, how they are responsive, feel that, feel that, feel that in your emotions, okay. So then you will be able to do that more confidently. Like see yourself walking around with hang by your teeth posture, shaking hands, smiling the flooding smile and making sticky eyes. Hear yourself chatting comfortably with everyone. Feel the pleasure of knowing you are in the peak form and everybody is gravitating toward you. Visualize yourself as a super somebody, then it will all happen automatically. So now, it is as usual when we have seen hello with any unknown person. Saying a hello is quite easy, but what to do? You say after you say hello. So the first thing is the mood match means first watch what is the mood of the person. Before opening your mouth, take a voice sample of your listener to detect his or her state of mind. Take a psychic photograph or the expression to see if your listener looks beyond bored or blitz. If you ever want to bring people around to your thoughts, you must match their mood and voice tone if only for a moment. Suppose if someone is in a sad mood and if you go in a very buoyant manner, they will feel awkward that they can think that you are happy by their suffering. So you might, must not be that kind of person. So it will decrease your chances. Okay. So coming to the new point. 
हुज दैट वॉट मीन्स दिस हुज दैट सपोज हुज दैट इज लाइक इफ थर्ड थर्ड पर्सन स्टैंडिंग यू डोंट नो दैट बट यू वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू दैम ओके सो वॉट टू से सो यू कैन आस्क पॉइंटिंग अबाउट थर्ड पर्सन ओके हु इज दैट कैन यू नो दैट सो यू विल गेट सम इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द पर्सन Uh, and you will have something to talk okay and so later on you can uh, increase the conversation okay so let's take a example suppose there is uh, person r there is a and there is c you are a okay so you feel that mr c is interesting or you want to talk to them but you don't know them so how to approach them so let r is the party giver or r is the person you know so go to ask r and tell who is that c person so he r will tell you some but something some important fact about that c you can go to see and discuss over that facts okay understood is i'm now coming to the never the next city what does this means never the next city what does this means ne- means when someone is asked where do you live so never don't tell them that i live in Minnesota or New Delhi, Mumbai, or in something. Tell them why the city is famous for. Like, if it is a hill station, so I live in that hill station city. So you can come and for a tour. So, so that the conversation can keep going. Okay. Can we now coming to the parroting? What is parroting? So we have covered the mood match. We have covered the who's that. We have covered the. never the next city so coming to the parroting what does parroting means <sighs> suppose parroting is useful when you don't have the words but you want to conversation going so never be left speechless again like a parrot simply repeat the last few words your conversation partner says this that puts the wall right back in his in or his her coat and then all you need to do is to listen suppose your person tells you that he plays cricket so if you don't know how to ask some questions so Oh, so you can repeat. You play cricket. So then the ball is be, um, in their court, and they will again start saying something. And they will, and the benefit is that they will feel that you are interested in them, and you generally are. Okay, so it is an important tip for sales people also who go on a wild goose chase for a customer sale objections when it's so easy to shake them out of the trees with parroting. Okay, now coming to the never the next introduction. Suppose if you introduce you to someone. then please for the sake of god never give the naked introduction what does this means okay i am like if i give my example i am prashant i i am a youtuber so that's not please give your introduction fully like i lives in this place this place is very famous for this i am youtuber i make videos on that educational content book summaries so that the other person has something to ask something to say okay now coming to the next one that is never the next job means what do you do some if someone ask you what do you do so you are, uh, i am a youtuber or i am a doctor so please tell them what are you doctor are you a uh, doctor of heart are you a doctor of psychologist or whatever a general physician so that they have something to ask oh you say i am a uh, doc- psychologist so they can say oh psychologist is a important subject so that you can your conversation can go over okay then that's the most important point latest news whenever you are leaving your home for whatever whatever the reason please check what are the latest news and in this world in the in the modern world in the world of mobile it is so much easy you just install an app of news and check what are the latest incidents so that uh, when you meet someone you can talk you can talk about that uh, about the news oh you listened about that earthquake or you listened about the new appointment of president new that so that that will be helpful for you okay oh, now coming how to talk like big boys and girls me here <laughs> simply speaking here by big boys and girls we don't mean that the tall boys we mean the big in stature okay big in stature so first is uh, the, here the author gives us some quick facts like what do you do not here he says that a sir and you are somebody is the conscious absence of the question what do you do it's a very general question when you meet someone we ask you what do you do so for some people it's very interesting if some if you ask someone what do you do they feel pride but some people in this world are very choosy about their career they feel that third person don't have right to ask them what do you do okay they feel offended 
so this feels that you ruthless network or you the other person can think that you are offensive so so how can you find that what the other person do you can simply ask that oh, how they spend their time if they is interested then they can tell you i do this and so seeing the mood of the person you can ask them further okay kill the quick me too oh it's a very easy tool whenever we have something in common with someone like if i like i i play cricket and i meet someone who also plays cricket and he is telling me that he is a cricketer he he is very happy with his cricket he is a good opening batsman so instead of saying that oh i also play cricket and interrupt them just listen patiently when the person is full has finished his speech then i can tell him oh i also when you say do you also play cricket yes i can say i also play cricket when you have something in common with someone the longer you wait to reveal it the more moved and impressed he or she will be you emerge as a confident big cat not a lonely little stray hungry for quick connection with a stranger Just don't wait too long to reveal your shared interest or it will seem like you are being tricky okay but um like what here you say, you can f- find that the spelling of communication i have capitalized the u what is this so if you think communication in this way so please give the other person chance to speak and f- always please always focus that other person speaks most of the time and you listen so that will help you much because every person in this world want to speak start every appreciate sentence with you it immediately grabs your listeners attention it gets some more positive response because it pushes the pride button and saves them uh, having to translate it into me terms when you sprinkle you as liberally as salt and pepper throughout your conversation your listeners find it an irresistible spice okay like now another point is call a speed a speed what does this means this means that what does this means call a speed a speed can you think that hmm what does this means this means that don't hide behind you famous call a speed a speed that doesn't mean big gets used tasteless four letter words when perfect uh, they have simply learned the queen's english and they speak it means if something is right or true call them as they are don't hide your words so that you can be think as more genuine now never the next thank you whenever we thank someone like someone has given us water and we give a boring thank you like a thank you so this is not a way we have to give them the thank you for water so so that they can feel that oh your thank you is special for them because in today's world thank you is so common <laughs> we always thank someone so please make you thank you special okay now coming to the exclusive smile what does this means look a smile as a smile is in the first uh, topic of this book some we have discussed so smile is a very important uh, fact but we must not make our smile general like everyone who is coming in our way will find that smile no that not that must not be the case we must think that our smile is uh, we other person must feel that our smile is genuine for them if you flash everybody with the same smile like a confederate dollar it loses value when meeting groups of people grace each with a distinct smile let us smiles grow out of the beauty we pick players find in each new face if one person in a group is more important to you than the others reserve an especially big flooding smile just for him or her now coming to the third chap- point now coming to the third the power of praise and the folly of flattery what does this means means you all know every person like praise but we tend to confine uh, mis- mistaken praise with flattery no let me tell you straight straight forwardly no person in this world like no person in this world like flattery so what does so what is career pigeon crows you know there were in earlier days when there were no email or no post office messages were sent using pigeons and when the pigeon bring great news pigeon were served good food good water so we must like that career pigeon kudos but in the today's world there are something if there is bad news people translate it people immediately grow a beak and metamorphose themselves into career pigeons when there is bad news it's called gossip instead become a career of good news and kudos whenever you hear 
something complimentary about someone fly to them with this compliment your fans may not posthumously stuff you and put you on display in a museum like Stumpy Joe but everyone loves the career pigeon kudos so whenever there is good news for someone whenever someone is praising them just tell them be a career pigeon so that will improve your stature accidental adulation look accidental adulation what this means means if you compliment someone directly you can become like you come to be like um you can become like uh, a adulation but uh, become an undercover complimenter stealthily sneak praise into the parenthetical part of your sentence just don't try to quiz anyone later on your main point the joyful jolt of your accidental adulation strikes them temporarily deep to anything that follows okay and when you try accidental adulation, smiles break out on the faces of the recipients. Tell your 65 year old uncle, anyone as fit as you would have jipped right up those steps. But boy, buzz I out of breath. Tell a colleague, because you are so knowledgeable in contract law, you would have read between the lines, but stupidity, I shined it. So, now, the most important point. The most important point. Okay, first we will cover boomeranging. Uh, because it is in sequence so that you can understand the clear complement. So, you know what is boomerang? Boomerang is this kind of uh, instrument when you throw that in air, it will return back. So, just uh, as a boomerang flies right back to the thrower, let compliments boomerang right back to the giver. Let the French uh, quickly murmur something that expresses that's very kind of you. Means what does this mean? That whenever you see, you tell someone good news. There is hundred percent possible. See, the other person will think also good of you, and they will also think good about you. Okay, let's come to the. Mm, so, so I want to add a point here. That is name server. That's also a very important point. We all know that for everyone, for all, every of us, our name is the most important sound in the world. This is a fact. Whenever someone, you can hide it, but this is the fact. So people perk up when they hear their own name. Use it more often on the phone than you would in person to keep their attention. Your caller's name recreates the eye contact, the cares you might give in person. Staying someone's name repeatedly when face to face sounds pandering, but because there is a physical distance between you and the phone, sometimes you are continent apart. You can spray your conversation with it. Okay? Oh. Coming the wow. This is very. Whenever you meet someone, say, Oh wow, it's you. Don't answer the phone. Then I am just so happy all the time. Attitude. Answer warmly, crisply, professionally. Then after you hear who is calling, let a huge smile of happiness engulf your entire face and spill over into your voice. You make your call. You make your caller feel as true as your giant warm Fuji smile as reserved for him or her. Okay, means. Whenever you call someone or whenever you meet someone, don't give an immediate smile, don't give an immediate wow. Just pause for a second, then engulf your face with emotions and say, oh wow, it's you. Coming to the another point, that is direct dial their heads. So by these techniques, you can immediately create a great impression on your, uh, on your important beings. So first is salute the spouse. Oh, like if your if your boss is there, like Mr. M is your boss. So if you go to home of Mr. M and ignore the spouse of Mr. M, so it will be a very catastrophic for you because in most of the important matters, the spouse of Mr. M have a saying. So whenever you go there, salute the spouse. Whenever you are calling someone's home, always identify and greet the person who answers. Whenever you call someone's office and more than once or twice, Make friends with the secretary. Anybody who is close enough to answer the phone is close enough to sway the VIP opinion of you. Home advice. Salute the spouse. Office advice. Salute the secretary. Okay? <sighs> right? Now, the next is what color is your time? This is also a most important thing. Like, we tend to call someone. Uh, it's most important for calling. Like, if you are calling someone, you don't know what the person is doing. Maybe he is watching, taking sour chatting with someone or doing physical work so whenever you call someone ask them what color is your time by means are you free or not 
no matter how urgent you think to call your call, always begin by asking the person about rhyming. Either use the what color is your time device or simply ask, is this a convenient time for you to rock? When you ask about timing first, you will never smash your footprints right in the middle of your telephone partner's signed sub time. You will never get a no just because your timing was right. Okay, so this is a very important fact. Now, now another is, okay, so I have finished. Oh, talking gestures. Now, talking gestures are also most important. Talking gestures are most important. Talking, talking gestures are most important. Uh, like uh, your hands movement, your face movement. So keep focus on them and hope you enjoyed this summary. Uh, I think there were some distractions, but uh, the content was 100% genuine. So thanks you.